been drawn to collecting things. And I don't know why that is, but it's a natural byproduct of my wanting to collect and like my nostalgia. I had this thought a few years ago and it's been ever present. Like every few months it kind of comes back to me and whispers. It's like, you gotta go collect those houses. Yeah. You gotta go get them back. Do you know of anyone else that like has bought houses That's from their cool. childhood? No, but why not? If you're gonna have a rental property, if you're gonna collect the stuff, why not? It's just three houses. So the first house that was privately owned was in Columbus, Georgia. So mom and dad moved there. I think they couldn't have lived quicker. there more than like a year or two. No, we moved so quickly. But that was the first house you know, that I was born in in Georgia. So I think to myself, okay, let's get traced the guy. There was about 10 phone numbers that came up. I started calling through all the phone numbers. About five phone numbers in, I got a guy. This Larry? Yeah. And he was all kind of like weird. <laughs> and I just, you know, had some conversation, broke the ice. And I was just like, hey, have you ever, you know, have you ever considered selling that house? He's like, well... We bought another house and well, yeah, we've thought about selling it. And I said, keep my number in your phone. I sell follow up to you every couple of months. I said, if you're interested in selling it, I'm interested. And he was like, oh, okay, well, all right. And, and he was serious though. And he knew that I was serious. Yeah. So uh, that might be the first one. If the guy called me next month and was like, all right, let's work something out. I think I'd fly out there and I think I might buy it. <laughs> we moved to Germany. We lived on base. We lived on base. Like you do and, sometimes, you know, yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, you can't have that stuff. My earliest memory of collecting was in Germany. I was collecting snail shells. I, some, I was, must have been five years old or younger when I was doing that. And then bees with the mason jar. You unscrew the mason jar and you like put it on top of the bee when it's on a flower. You scoop the lid underneath yeah. it, screw it on, and you've got a, a bee. Yeah. It's a dangerous sport. And then I think after that, we moved back to Fort Leavenworth in Kansas. Yeah. Again, on base. That's I remember, cool. so the one, you know, you got certain memories that are just kind of like, that's the memory of that. I had a friend named Henry Salas. Why I remember his last name, I don't know. But we collected bird's nests. Yeah. I know we collected a lot of different bird's nests. So and we're kind of this clearing, and I went down there, I saw I'm climbing this tree, and then I noticed this police car drive by. And in my mind, my young mind, like I was thinking, I'm going to get in trouble for this. I dropped, dropped down, I didn't get the nest, because I thought the cops were going to come get me for getting this bird's nest. Then after Leavenworth, we went to Virginia. We lived off base, and my dad bought this house without my mom seeing it. And I remember she was just like, oh, she didn't like it from the get-go. <laughs> but to us as kids, you know, I don't remember how big it was. I don't really have much memories inside the house. My memory is the neighborhood around the house. Yeah. But I do remember I love Virginia. We lived there for four years. Yeah. And it seemed like four years in your life as a kid at that point, when you're like seven, eight, nine years old, it's like an eternity. So that felt like we were from there. The Virginia one, the guy lives there. I don't know how long he's lived there for, but he lives there. And I've, I've tried calling him, I haven't got a hold of him yet, but I'm not quite sure what I'll say when I call him, but I'm thinking my approach might be something like this. Instead of asking him to buy it right then, you could say, hey, I'd be interested if it ever came up, yeah. and maybe get an option on the house. They say, hey, if I give you a thousand bucks now, will you give me an option or a first right of refusal to purchase this house if you're ever gonna sell it? That's not establishing any sort of price, it's just saying, if you're ever gonna sell it, then I could exercise my right of refusal. If you're gonna sell it to this guy for any amount of money, I could step in and say, I'll buy it for that amount of money. So I've thought about doing that with the Virginia house. Cause that's really my like, like the, that, that's like the crown jewel in yeah. my mind, the Virginia yeah. house. If I can get a hold of this guy, maybe we'll do another video where we actually go out to Virginia. So I thought of that, so that could be part of this saga if, we, if I do get down this road. And I, and I think it might happen. This could be like a three part series, a four part series. Oh yeah. Georgia. I think this is that. just the beginning. I think it could just be the beginning. I'm just yeah. crazy enough that I might do this. And I want to be able to show my kids 20 years from now and be like, this is where we lived. Because people yeah. always talk about that, like, oh, we used to live here, we used to live there, and we don't know who lives there now. Garbage. I want to be like, <laughs> I used to live here, let's fly out there, like, that's where I lived. This is where I grew up, and I own this house. And this is where I grew up, and I own that house. That's Nostalgia. It's awesome. awesome. My Achilles heel. Nostalgia. After baseball cards, I think it was in, uh, it was in New York. I collected comic books. So I had this collection of comic books. And I don't know that I really liked reading them as much. It was more of like a cool thing to collect and I thought they were gonna be worth more. Like in my mind, before I knew anything and our parents never taught us about investments or anything. Yeah. In my mind, that was kind of like an investment. It was almost like something that's gonna, like an asset that's going to appreciate. At that time, we also got into skateboarding. Yeah. So we kind of collected some skateboards and skateboard apparel, but not as much, that wasn't as much of a collector items as the comic books. In New York, we lived on base again. No house to buy there. In New York, we moved to Utah. We moved to Logan, Utah. 
and moved to a house in a neighborhood that was great. In fact, looking back on it now, it felt like a really affluent neighborhood. Do you mm-hmm. get that feeling? Oh, totally. was like, we lived in like a rich area of Logan. Well, it was like an upper middle class neighborhood. But yeah. Our house was like the small house. In like the lower middle class. Or like everybody, middle. everybody in that neighborhood were like business owners, Wendy's. Yeah. Like everyone in the neighborhood owned a business. I've got good memories there. Just, it was just hanging out. Totally. Playing with friends. It felt like this little bubble. Yeah. There. But that Logan house, like, it wasn't a huge house. But, uh, but it was one that mom and dad owned. It was one that mom and dad owned, which puts it firmly on the list. That's number three that's firmly on the list. This is and easy, I, obviously. It's an hour from us here. Yeah. Uh, it's just be a matter of calling the person and trying to get an option for sort of fees away. Right now, it's probably like a $260,000 house. So it's nothing crazy, but also for rental properties, you're going to rent it for fourteen or 1500 bucks. So yeah. it's like, it doesn't make a ton of sense. But again, put it in my bag with my snail shells, my, my comic books baseball cards, put it in my bag. No air conditioning. There's only one bathroom. It's creaks and it's nasty. You're like, honey, we're going to go spend two we're weeks a, there this we're gonna live summer. in Virginia. <laughs> Why? <laughs> minnow fishing. Go That's minnow where the fish. money is. <laughs> I'm going to go minnow fish there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're try- Why are we trying to relive your childhood memories? <laughs> Shh! Don't scare the minnows. <laughs> now we know. And knowing is half the battle. Yeah.